You know, uh, we're thinking cool thoughts uh, right now because the weather has been just so hot, unseasonably hot, and it will continue to be so over the next several days. Uh, this is the view from downtown Fort Worth with temperatures in the 70s. Your first alert weather headlines. Uh, we're mainly tracking a hot stretch here to end September with highs in the low to mid 70s, 90s. I wish I had 70s. Uh, there's no rain expected for the week, but we are expecting plenty of heat courtesy of high pressure over us right now. It will continue to spread eastward, and this southeasterly flow will pump in the heat with those temperatures in the low to mid 90s. The average high about 86 this time of the year. So the State Fair of Texas forecast starting Friday through the weekend. Hot weather. Yeah, 96 for Friday, 95 for Saturday with mostly sunny skies and mostly sunny for Sunday. Temperatures about 94 degrees for today. 86 at noon. It will feel like 90. It will feel like 93 toward four o'clock this afternoon. So how about getting the car washed today and for the next few days? I'm really not tracking any rain in our work week forecast, so that's good. Although we could use some more rain, at least for the car. Well, you could do it some good. You'll see the hourly for or hourly forecast. And how about this? The daily forecast 95 for highs on Thursday, 96 for Friday, 95 for Saturday. The average high will go down to about 84 by the end of the week, but still raining, remaining above average. And well, you'll see the forecasters from the Climate Prediction Center. They're saying that over the next six to 10 days, we're going to have above average temperatures here in North Texas over the next eight to 14 days. Much of the same, so no real relief in sight, but we're hoping for a little wet weather maybe into next week. Here's a look at the tropics here with Tropical Storm Philippe, the 4 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. This tropical storm is pretty uh, disorganized as it moves to the west at 13 miles an hour toward the Bahamas. Just see here as we put the spaghetti plots, these models in motion. I think overall the storm should stay away from Texas. We'll just continue watching it. And if you're keeping track of all the names on the list, Rena is the next name, but you'll notice we're not that far from Whitney and hurricane season officially ends November 30th. Your first alert seven day forecast shows temperatures in the 90s for the next several days, including Friday at 96, 95 for Saturday, more sunshine through the weekend and even more sun for Monday with highs around 94.